Our first guest tonight is the voice of assorted humans and hormones on his very funny and very filthy animated series, Big Mouth Season 6, is on Netflix now. Please say hello to Nick Kroll. <laughs> I'm good. Very good to see you. Uh, how was your Halloween? How old is your son now? He's a little under two years old. So is he of uh, trick or treating age or? Too I mean, young? we took him trick or treating. He did not. He's like was not engaged, and he doesn't really know what candy is yet. But mm -hmm. so I would go up to the houses, and I would be like, Ah, oh, my son is. He's you know, and I and then I take the candy. And I, <laughs> <laughs> I ate all the candy. It was I ate all. So the he candy. was your beard. He was your candy yes, beard. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Aren't, did you guys dress up? Did you have a thing? Uh, we tried to dress him up. He, he really wanted no part of it. Uh, he, he, he loves uh, blueberries, um, okay. and so we tried to dress him up like a blueberry, <laughs> uh, and he wanted no part of it. Uh, and now, trying to get into his mind, because as a, as a father, you're trying to understand where your kid's coming from. If I were him, I would be like, if I dress up as a blueberry, there's going to be a giant toddler who's going to see me and try to consume me. Yeah, right. So... <laughs> You're, yeah, you're bait at that yeah, point, really. That, you're just... <laughs> little, little does this idiot know that it's my dream to be consumed by a huge toddler, so... <laughs> so you, uh, so he did not dress up at all? No, he did not. Uh, well, we put him in, like, a little skeleton pajamas kind of thing. Okay. Uh, and But I then, I, I put on the blueberry outfit hoping it would inspire him. You and, uh, you and your son are the same size, We huh? are very similar, yeah. yes. It's a very, very big boy. I mean, uh, by the way, I am... Oh, there, and this is it. And this is the um, ensemble. <laughs> and this is... This is a blueberry outfit, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's a blueberry. Did, did anyone get that you were a blueberry? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> really, you're just wearing a colorful sundress, yeah, really. It, yes. And it's jeans. True. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but now I'm looking at my outfit right now. And I'm, <laughs> it's your color. I'm dressed as a blueberry. This is what you should have worn. I know. <laughs> well, whatever I'm, I'm it dressed, is. Yeah, trick or treat. I'm dressed as a, a, a guest on Jimmy Kimmel Live. <laughs> <laughs> you, um, oh, I do want to ask you about something. Yes. I don't know if you even know about this, but... Charlize Theron was here last week. Uh-huh, yes, 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 yes. And she was talking about her friend, her good friend. She threw her a surprise birthday party. Yes. Actually, the party wasn't a surprise, but there was a surprise at the party. There was indeed. And that surprise was Michael Bolton. Sure. Always a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Even in his own home, yeah, oh. see, people are like, oh, how wonderful. <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> so he comes in. And she's showing us this video, yeah. and I just noticed something in the background of the video, which we will share now. <laughs> yes. Look at that little blueberry there. Oh. So did you know this was <laughs> I didn't know Michael Bolton was going. I did not know ahead of time. I was just going with Michael to the party. And then, <laughs> and then he's like, excuse me. And he, he went. No, he Whipped out a microphone. Yeah, he, yeah. No, we showed up and he, he comes out and he's, I, you guys can't see it, but he's wearing the finest black leather gloves is what I really remember most. They fit so beautifully, and he was wearing like a, a scarf, and I was like, "Oh, it's to keep that voice warm." But what about the hands? Is, is, is the, the hands? I guess the the hands are where the music is born. I see. <laughs> in the fingertips. Yeah, in the fingertips. So it must stay warm in the fingertips. I didn't know that about music. And then music. it travels up his arms, uh -huh. and then through his core, and then. You gotta warm it up right before you know what I mean. Uh -huh. It's like putting a putting a like a little muffin in the toaster right before you're gonna <laughs> eat it. You know? <laughs> little pat of butter, boom! You got Michael Bolton. Uh, and are you a uh, Michael Bolton, a Bolton buddy, as his fans uh, call themselves? I mean, I, I, I it was a wonderful thing to watch those people love and enjoy Michael Bolton. Like my <laughs> wife, my wife and her family are huge Golden State Warriors fans. Uh -huh. And I'm like, well, this is exciting to watch them be excited. You enjoyed Michael Bolton vicariously. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And then I I um 
Well, I, I murdered. <laughs> you murdered what? I murdered both of those people, and I wear their skin <laughs> around. So, <laughs> well, so you that I can fully live as them. <laughs> you. Well, that's quite a revelation. Yeah. <laughs> that's a. You know, you don't hear talk show anecdotes like that that often. I know. <laughs> well, I was cosplaying as a guest on Jimmy Kimmel Live, and I really went for it. Which musician would you, like, at your birthday party, if oh. you were to, like, like, let's say we were to line somebody up for you yeah. as a surprise, huh. who would you want it to be? <sighs> Kanye? West, Kanye West. Kanye West. Oh, Kanye West. He's like my favorite musical artist. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. Maybe. Yes. Even now, still. Why? What happened? <laughs> what do you mean? What? What did I miss? Oh. 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 Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Copy that. Really? <laughs> and, he, and so then, and so then, he, but he, then he apologized for it, right? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Really? Okay, he's going to Israel. Okay. He's going to Israel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I think so. it's gonna be. It's gonna be weird seeing him at synagogue. This <laughs> Nick Kroll is here, everybody. Uh, big mouth for this guy. We'll be right back. I guess you're right, Lola. We got the same score. We live in the same building. We are basically the same. Well, truth be told, we're not exactly the same. When I got my yeast infection, my mom didn't come running home. She just sent me a cameo from Steve-O. Hey, Lola. Oh. I heard you got a yeast infection. Gnarly. But don't worry, because I'm going to staple my nutsack to my leg in solidarity. Yeah. <laughs> We are back with Nick Kroll at his Big Mouth season six is on Netflix now. I like that, that that's the most network safe clip from the show that we can bring yeah, to. The, the first one you sent there, like, no, 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 that can't be on. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, I mean, we, uh, but a lot of kids probably watch the show, right? Yeah, 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 a ton of kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, a ton. What is the appropriate age to start watching Big Mouth? I mean, I think when it's like when kids can speak. Um, Once they can speak. Yeah, so they can they be like, should... I like this show. Uh -huh. Keep your Netflix subscription. <laughs> uh, let's do this. Uh, no, I would, I don't know. Uh, Andrew Goldberg, one of the, my co creators of the show, who, the show is based on he and I, uh, he always says, when my kids are the age of the kids on the show. Mm -hmm. So that, because if, if you're thinking about it, kids are going through that stuff. Uh, they're, they have access to everything that the kids on the show have access to, and it's a decent time. Your kids on the show have been going through puberty for like six years now, though, right? Yes. 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 Like a long, it's a very long puberty. Right, well, it's yeah. supposed to like live action where it's like the Wonder Years when it was like, oh, Kevin Arnold, like you get like three seasons and they're like, hey, uh, you know, and it's <laughs> yeah. over. With us, it's all adults to begin with, so. <laughs> yeah, right. How many characters do you do on the show? I do like some about 30 to 40 characters on the show. You, that's a lot of characters. And uh, you got, who's on the show? Jeff Goldblum is on the show this Jeff year. Jeff Goldblum is, is the Apple brooch. Uh -huh. uh, uh, we have a bunch of great guest stars. We have uh, Kristen Wiig is returning as a, as a talking vagina. Uh -huh. uh, uh, and then we have uh, uh, Tyler, the creator, is on the show this year. And who is Tyler playing on the show? Tyler uh, is a fan of the show and just asked me at some point, he's like, I love the show. If you ever have anything, I'd love to do it. And, we, and so we cast him as Jesus. You cast him as Jesus? <laughs> yes. You got the talking vagina. Yeah. You got Jesus. Yeah. You got and uh, the apple brooch, the three <laughs> pillars of society. Do you get that a lot, where people will say, "Hey, I want to be on"? Yeah, people. It's it's nice to know when people are like, "I like the show." I, you know, like um, Jack McBrayer and and Craig Robinson. When the show early on, we're both like, "Hey, if you have ever if if you ever have anything fun on the show, I'd love to be a part of it." So. Uh huh. And uh, what do, what roles did you give those guys? Uh, Jack and Craig play my two pubes. Right. Yes. <laughs> So Tyler's Jesus and uh -huh. Jack and Craig are pubes. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's all based on it's all based on uh, uh, Instagram followers. <laughs> <laughs> do do people, viewers of the show, fans of the show, mm -hmm. um, stop you and go, "When I was going through puberty, I, this happened, and maybe you should 
Yeah, right. people will tell me their puberty stories. People also, I just have a, I have a stand-up special <laughs> out called uh, Little Big Boy on Netflix. I, that is so funny. I got to see that live when you, you did yes. it live, and uh, it is super, super funny. Thank you for coming to see and it. And thank you for plugging it yourself and not making me do it. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm always here to plug. <laughs> so, uh, so in that case, uh, I tell a number of stories about uh, pooping my pants. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, and... So people will come up to me on the street and tell me their uh, pants pooping story. Once you open that door. <laughs> oh yeah, tell, literally. Yeah. So uh, I I was at like a Yom Kippur break the fast, and I, <laughs> no I, I haven't eaten, and I'm fasting. I haven't eaten, and I'm just about to take my first bite of an everything bagel. And this guy comes up to me. He's like, I got to tell you a couple of stories. About <laughs> and he starts telling his story. I'm he's walking through work, and he pooped, and it's sly, and so he's got a hold. He's cuffing his leg and trying to walk to the bathroom. And I'm sitting there. Did somebody just dry heave in the crowd? Did I miss? <laughs> so I, anyway. And we should mention that that man who told you that story, yeah. Kanye West. Yeah. <laughs> it was, just, it was a, um, and those, a friendlier time. Yeah, and he's got those big, you know, the pants. Oh, yeah. That's why he wears the big boots. You can get a lot of diarrhea <laughs> in those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why he's wearing those big galoshes. <laughs> Nick Kroll, everybody. Uh, season six of Big Mouth is on Netflix. Thank you, Nick. We'll be back.